Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Writer. In this module, I want to show you how you can adjust indents. So I've got some small text on the screen, a little amount of text, and on the ruler, you can see the indent marker. So on this left-hand side, you've got the left indent marker. On the right-hand side, you've got the right indent marker. To simply set a, an indent using the ruler, you just sit on this bottom triangle pull it across to the desired position and let go and whichever paragraph you're in will move so I've got this split up so I'll just join this back together again and then do that again if I just show you that again the whole paragraph should move this time and if you pull the one from the right hand side to the desired location it will also bring it in so you've got indents there so the text is sitting between the two indents you're just in effect just moving the margins across so you'll type with, within this space. If I justify the text, it makes it nice and smooth down either side. Now, if I take that one off, push it back to the margin. If you double click on one of these triangles, you'll go into Format Paragraph and you can see um, any indents that you've got on there. So you can actually set it back there. Just click OK and then the indent will go back. Now, if you want to split the indent, if you sit the mouse on the top triangle that's the first line indent and then if I want to move that across as a gap maintaining the gap the stagger still maintains there if I bring that back across so it sits on top and then maybe you want to go the other way a hanging indent like so and again if you move the bottom triangle that will move the text into the margin now normally a hanging indent is not something that you would manually create like I'm doing there that is normally created when you use a numbered list or a bullet list. You can see there that the actual number is sitting to the left of the body of text. And if I want that number to be on the margin, I need to move the, the whole thing, the stagger, if you like, back. So now the number's on the margin. If I want that to be in the margin, I'll just simply move it a bit further. And if I want it further away, I'll just move this first line so it becomes further away and again if you double click onto this it will come into format paragraph and you can see what you've done there with the uh, first line so if I click OK to that I'll just bring that back together take that one off so we're back to square one also what you've got in format paragraph so I'm double clicking on the indent marker but I could equally go format paragraph it takes me to the same place you've got the um, spacing before and after a paragraph which is quite common in text documents if I just put this up to something really daft so a paragraph before click OK and when I double click on this let's just say hi like this there's this space above the paragraph so if I try to type in there I can't try to double click can't uh, I haven't got space in afterwards but if I just go back into it after text do some as well uh, not the indent put that back to zero the spacing after just put it to two centimeters which is huge so now when I start typing I've got this big space after the paragraph and uh, on top there is a space there I can't select anything I can't double click I can't type in there and I've totally messed up that little paragraph now to get that back I'll just go back into format paragraph put, put everything back to zero and just, just highlight this again put it back to zero format paragraph so that's zero and that's zero and OK and I've gone back up to the top and it's back to the default which is what I want just backspace that so that's just a quick look at how you can adjust indents either using the ruler so you've got left indent first line indent hanging indent using the ruler or a right indent using this right side of the ruler or going into format paragraph and setting it on the indent group there including the first line to cancel that. So hopefully that was of use for you. Thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next one.